what's up YouTube? It's your boy Crimson Order Gaming and welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, hopefully you stick around because we like to have fun here. Putting it out there for y'all. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in to our last uh, Frightening Friday. It went really, really good. So I'm hoping that you guys tune in more uh, every week after, you know, that way we don't have any incidents. But no, in all seriousness, guys, um, we are going to be playing Paranormal Entities, and it's created by Al Heck. Um, I found this game, and I thought it would be very cool to play. I haven't played it yet, um, and uh, it might give me a heart attack, you know. But yeah, I mean, whatever is whatever we have to look forward to uh, as far as this gameplay, I mean, we just got to look forward to it. I don't know. Um, you let me know, and you can watch me as I'm letting you know what you know, what I know. We both seen each other freak out. So, with that being said, let's get right into the game. But first, I forgot to talk to you guys about something. So, we are actually, we just hit 100 subscribers I'm not too long ago, and I wanted to thank everybody for that. And I haven't actually gave my thanks for that. But I am now. I am now. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities, the number two rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors cable network. All right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. So, uh, Our producer you, Tom man. said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Okay, so the other door, the other, um, they didn't let me interact with those other doors. Yeah, that door is locked. Oh my goodness, that is loud. Holy smokes. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s. A lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Okay, that's cool. Not really, but... In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone from public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. Okay, door's locked. Okay, so we learned that people came to this place, they never left, and... Screwed up place. Tragic. Oh! Oh man, I was really happy the door didn't open. Okay, so we got here. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, and the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. All the doors are locked. Oh, I gotta come here. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this Get room. In this Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that 
replay it. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try it again. Over here. All right, all right, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to me. come to Don't life. Give them permission. Just give us a sign that you're here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Broken bottles and stuff. Alright, check that. Me. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. Oh, where's that spot at? Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Looking down. Look down. <sighs> Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up hey. or piss off. Oh! Whoa, you can't talk to him like that. You're not in here with me, bro. Whoa, 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 did you hear that? Did you... Play that back, play that back. Play it back. Pricks, show up or piss off. <laughs> all right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're gonna continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Bro, he said the morgue, the morgue, morgue. Not Rick and Morgie. Uh huh. Human resources. Um, definitely not there. Oh, they're gonna come out here and try to. Yeah, but right no. All right, we're going to the morgue. So, where's this? Come on, direct to it. Oh, the morgue is this way. Oh, nice the little hallway. Nice little hallway. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract. The East Social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who were deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Oh geez, the most dangerous inmates in here. Or ghost, the most dangerous ghost in here. We're gonna just talk to them. Yep, most dangerous ghost. Can you give me some instruction? Okay, let me just try to open these doors, because, hold on. Directory. That's gonna be locked. Staircase. What does this say? This is a patient room. That's blocked off. Um, let's go check here. This is the entrance to patient cells 200 through 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Oh, Not yeah. necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Yeah, you're not in here with me. You don't know how it feels. You don't got these loud headphones on. You're not in here with me talking to these things. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. Let's just start the ceremony. Hell no, to the no, no, no.
spirits inside this asylum. We know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. Oh! You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. I'm gonna look down. You're not in here with me. I'm not trying to hear that, sir. Check all the doors. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Sir? Sir? Oh my goodness, why are we in here? Who are you? Who are you? I don't see anything yet. It is what it is. That's locked. I'm not going in there. Alright, it's the last door. Okay. Why is she scratching her butt? I mean, I think the showers are like back here. I rub up. I think if you want to sleep on that thing, you gotta like fix it upright. You know, I don't think you can sleep on it sideways like that. I mean, I guess there's nowhere to go. I mean, I we just talk to her. I guess. Look at her. Yeah, they're doing some kind of like smooth some kind of dance. Or like, hey, um, ma'am, can you go to the front door and get out? No eyes, yeah. Nigga said go oh. <laughs> he said go to the front door and get out. Hey! Hey, stop it. None of these are gonna open. What's with all this screaming? Alright, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Don't gotta tell me twice. You had me coming here. For your entertainment. $500? Damn it, damn it. Oh, uh, okay, there's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way, so, so go up the staircase. There's nothing down here. Okay, good. Yo, I'm, yo I hate walking these staircases, man, in the horror games, because, like, they're really creepy. Okay, these social area, the pharmacy, the patient's room, I don't want none of that. Something tells me if I turn around right now, something's about to go down. Okay, there's nothing. It's locked though, what do I do? Uh, okay, we need to, let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs, I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. This was not here before. I don't remember this being here. Hold on, hold on, that staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the, what, what is going on? I don't like All checking right, the right, doors, they're so loud. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. What do you mean? <laughs> you hear that? I was like, no. 
Listen, bro. I can't. I, we gotta keep going. Is this it? I'm not turning around. I'm not looking for the staircase that way. Oh, we got some candles in here. We got a little thing going on. Um, none of this I want to be a part of. So, well, I guess we got no choice. Charge. Nothing. I know I gotta check every door. If I don't, then I might miss something. Ew, what is that? Boy, it's not like an alarm. That's locked. That's locked. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is the final door. The one little candle right there, so. I guess this is where we go. That door is locked. Time, how did I not drop my camera at least once? Bro, it's locked. What do we do? We go back to the boat. I'm not messing with this, y'all. I'm really not messing with this, y'all. Wait, it's it's different. It looks different. I don't know. It's the same hallway we were just in. We looked at. Oh my goodness. Which way do we look? Uh, we're gonna go this way first. Screw it. We go right first. Go right then left. That's locked. That's locked. I'm sorry, I could close my eyes because I don't want to get bite my, my lip or nothing. You ever get scared so bad you bite your lip? I have. Oh! What the f heck? Oh, Hank Snow, we need to get out of here. Oh no. I don't even think I could play this game. Y'all gotta hear it exactly how I hear it, or else, like, you just won't understand. You gotta have them headphones up at 100%. See, now it's locked. I turn around, something's gonna change. Look at this. What is this? What are these games that they're playing with us? Why? Look, all the doors are locked. All of them. I'm stuck in a little hallway. Like, what do I do? Do I just walk over here? Oh, there's something on the ground. Um, don't see. No eyes? What does that mean? Am I supposed to um, go this way? It's not letting me do anything. Something, I'm running, I'm backing up into something, y'all. Look, see, it's not letting me go. Oh my God, we're turning around. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's nothing. It's far away. All right, so now. Is there blood? face or something. What is that? Alright, so it looks like we're in some kind of room with pictures of anatomy. We're stuck in a, in a cell here. That's gonna open up. Will this open up? It won't. So we don't know where we have to go. The obvious way. Okay, so now what? Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kinda had this from you. 
there's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself, and while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. So we actually have to close our eyes now, um, because there's a serial killer. Clyde that can only hurt you when your eyes are open. All right, well, let's get out of here. All right, we were just in that hallway. Um... Damn flashlight broke. I can't My use that flashlight anymore. had to break. No, that's not it. What? Something was just said. Um, I can't go any further than that. Alright, well, let's just get out of here. Poor desert. I see you now. Run! Run? How the heck am I supposed to run? when I can't even freaking sprint. Oh! No! Ew, what are you doing? You're the best run. Bro, I can't sprint. So let's get out of here. Oh my god, open the door. Open the door! Just fine. I know you're not, huh? We're very Holy entertained right crap. now. Alright, alright, we're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm, hell no. Wasn't I just in Look, here? You won't but come in here for five hundred dollars. We're not but coming. You offer me five hundred dollars. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, I don't have five hundred dollars for my eyes. This review on the page. Let me know your thoughts about it. They should make this into a full game, because I'll play it. So what's the lesson that we learned? Your friend offers you $500 to go explore an abandoned 
insane asylum that has paranormal entities literally reported to be there don't do it oh yeah also don't forget to go don't forget to follow me on instagram uh crimson order it's links should be in the description and i really need you guys to submit videos scary videos for frightening friday so you know that way we could have a little bit more interaction and we can watch and it's cool we get to watch your video you think you find a whole you find a video that's really scary on youtube and you send it to me, I'll watch it and react to it and shout you out. It's a win-win. We all have fun here. Alright guys, this is Crimson Order Gaming and I will see you on the next one. Peace.